What is going on YouTube? Happy Monday. Time to go get it. All right, let's get started. Now, put a video out. Let me sit back and relax a little bit. Now, I put a video out yesterday talking about the survivalists. And I think some of you may have it wrong where I'm coming from. And this is what I mean by that. I'll say again. I don't believe all the guns are necessary. But preparing is not a bad thing. But I don't think your type of preparing is what I'm uh, looking at. Now let me just, I'm going to make this video, and this, this is going to, video is going to be called My Bug Out Idea. What I think we should do to prepare. But here's my philosophy on this. I don't think you should wait until a disaster is in the air to start preparing. This is something you should be doing every day of your life. And you will finish successful. So first let me start it off like this. We have a disease in America and some other countries. And that disease is this. If you go, if you've ever traveled before, you can always spot an American. The reason why is, let's say I was to go to China right now, and everybody came from the airport, I can spot, if there was one American couple out of a hundred, I could spot, let me just cut that off, I can spot the American couple out of the crowd. The reason why is because the American's couple, luggage is going to be the biggest out of the whole group. Because in our mentality, we think the more things you have, the better. The ones who have figured that out are the ones who have been successful. Right? And here's the funny thing about things. People don't buy things for themselves. I challenge you to watch HGTV. And look at the couple, the first time, host, first time home buyers. Look at the couples that are going around the house and look at the house. I promise you, you will hear this phrase. We can have a dinner party here. We can invite all our friends over. This is a this is a big place to have a dinner party. All our friends can come over. They go to the backyard. Oh my gosh, this is a huge area for us to have an outing for our friends and everything. And then I start asking myself the question, are you buying your home for you or for other people? Are you buying your Mercedes Benz for you or for other people? You see, this is a mentality that has to be destroyed. We have to learn in America that less is more powerful. So, let me get into a couple of my ideas. This video may have to be a part two. So, first I want to say this. The first thing I think you need, right, and to prepare for life in, in, in the future. We don't know what's coming. Nobody knows a disaster is coming. Nobody has, has the day or when it's going to come or is it going to come. You know, um, when North Korea and South Korea were about to go to war, everybody started pulling money out of those markets. What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. Right? So, let me get into this. Okay, if you were to, and I want you to ask yourself the question this about this. If I were to put you on a plane, give you a parachute, give you $1,000, and push you out the door, you don't know what country you're dropping in, I give you that the identification card, you're now a citizen, or you are you have a working permit, you can work when you get there. Will you be able to survive just off of that $1,000 and create something out of that? I would sit here and say 90% of people would lose that hundred thousand. I mean, lose that thousand dollars and wouldn't be able to make it, and would have to call back home and say, "Hey, come get me. Send me some money. I couldn't make it." If you can't do that, then you need more education. Some people don't know how to make money. When the jobs were taken away, they cried and said, "Oh, they're not going to extend. <coughs> they're not going to extend um, unemployment." Some of you guys lost your job, went home, sat down, looked at the mirror, cried. You know, your, your, your mother, I mean, your, your kids looked at you and said, oh, you're a failure. Look at you. You're not, you're not doing anything. You didn't fill out job applications. You didn't try to start a new business or something to create more income. You just sat back and you just cried. Not everybody. Some people use that and say, hey, well, that door is closed. Another one's open. The first thing you got to do in this situation is to know how to make multiple streams of income and not just from a job. First thing. Okay? I think I would be able to make it. 
I think you can drop me off in any part of the country and I will thrive. And that's based on the education that I've gotten and me not working a job for 10 years and learning how to survive off of ideas alone. Okay, number two is what I wrote down. <clears throat> we talked about being more educated. One of the problems in the U.S. is this. We do not know how to buy real estate. Now, some of you may ask, what do you mean? Isn't the way to buy real estate, you go, get, you, you, you go to high school, go to college, marry, right? You, as soon as you get out, you get two cars, one for the wife, one for the, uh, the husband, brand new cars, and you go out and get a home that other people like. You know, maybe one you can't afford, but your friends will like it. And this is what everybody does. But there's one thing that happens, not everybody, but most of the people, but there's one thing that happens when people buy a home like this. They become house poor. They're not able to save the money like they used to because now they have to pay for a loan. Right? They have to pay for this loan. Um, there's not much money left. They're not able to make extra payments to pay this home off uh, in a fast pace. So a home that's maybe $100,000, they drag this thing out for 30 years. If you don't have money to save, if you're house poor, you're not setting yourself up for fut for success in the future. See, Robert Kiyosaki had it best when you when you when you buy a home. You make money on a home when you buy it, not when you sell it. You see, let me tell you something. I was in Nicaragua, one of the poorest countries in Central America. Most I would say 90% of the homes in Nicaragua are paid for. This is what people would do. They would stay at home with their mother and father and you see bricks and stones piled on the side of the house. And you ask yourself, what, what are those bricks and stones for? The people would buy bricks when they had extra money, right? They knew how many number of bricks they would need to build a home. And they're stacking these bricks on the side until they have enough and they complete their home. And then the home is paid for. Now, just think if most Americans had that, uh, that mentality of, I'm not going into debt for a home. I'm going to save money for a home, pay cash money, and move into the home. Now, just think if we all did that. All the money we have freed up, we can use for foreign investments. We can use to buy the gold. We can use to buy the land. We can use to buy property that people who have... Thought they were rich or thought they could afford things, they're going to end up foreclosing. You could buy these things cash money and you don't owe anyone anything, not a bank, not nothing. That's freedom. You see, we have to change our whole mentality, mentality when it comes to buying and thinking in America. Our view of money is wrong. Now, I can tell already I'm not going to make it through all this, but I'm just going to keep it going uh, there'll be part two coming probably tomorrow or later on today. But real estate is one of the biggest problems we have because as soon as a person buys real estate, it's like the vacuum cleaner comes and it just sucks all the extra cash you have. The principal, really none goes to the principal. All you're paying is interest. And one thing about interest is this. There are two major religions right now that interest is forbidden. One is Islam. Two is Judaism. It's called Reba in Judaism. It's forbidden. Interest can kill you. Borrowing money from other people to make things happen for you can hurt you financially. So I'm going to leave it as that right now. Let me see what you think so far. Let Talk about the real estate buying system that we have. Because a lot of people have had a lot of hiccups with that. So... I just want to leave it as that. So my other bug out ideas will come. I think I'll bring them on later on. So just look for that. So until next time, signing off.